Hi, today I'm going to be talking about Jira product discovery again, and I'm going to be touching the topic of following the delivery progress. So basically the bars that we can see over here on the right hand side. I got a question about this from one of the viewers and I thought that this is actually a pretty decent topic to record a video on because probably more people will be interested in this feature. This video is part of our effort to deliver the high quality learning and training materials inside the Jira or Atlassian ecosystem. And if you want to support this channel, consider subscribing. And also remember that you can always reach out to us for paid services that we do offer in these areas, be it training implementation, uh, consultation or whatnot. So don't be shy. The link is in the description. You can always drop us a note and we will schedule a free call. And now back to Jira product discovery. So this is one of the brand new products in the Atlassian family, so to say. Um, very, very soon, uh, actually probably already nowadays it's happening. It's rolling out from the uh, beta version and you can now actually have it as a fully fledged product. So that's pretty cool. And I have been giving an overview of the product in one of the previous videos, but today I want to stick to the delivery tab over here and talk a little bit about how the delivery progress is actually measured over here and what is needed to have the um, progress indicated over here. But I will also go into one of the more interesting questions regarding that, uh, which is, okay, if I already have my progress items somewhere outside of Jira product discovery, then how to connect those to the tickets that I have over here, or do I actually need to have a ticket over here to indicate the progress? So these are the questions I will do my best to answer in this video. All right, so first things first, um, how does the delivery progress inside the Jira product discovery work? So first of all, you need to have a ticket over here inside the Jira product discovery project. What does this, what does, what does it mean? It means that, if you want to um, have some Jira projects over here on the list, when you create the project and you want to have the features regarding Jira uh, product discovery, you need to create a project. Actually, I, let me show it to you. You need to create a project that will have the Jira product discovery features. So over here, ro roll down to the bottom, select Jira product discovery, and then you will see that there is a project template for product discovery. This is the one you need to use in order to have the product discovery features, all right? That's a very important thing. So if you do that, then you will have all those tabs over here on the left and you will be able to create tickets inside this project's ideas mainly, right? Because this is the only issue type that is allowed inside this type of the Jira project. And then those ideas will be listed over here and you will be able to um, impact the assessment of those ideas, show them on the roadmap, plan them, uh, watch the delivery and so on, right? So that's that's generally the idea. So all of the tickets they have over here on the list are the ideas, okay? Um, do they have to be created here in this project? Well, essentially, yes, but if you really, really want to, you can also move tickets from other projects to this project, right? Of course, it, it, it can come with a cost because it's possible that they will lose some data. Remember some custom issues, uh, fields uh, that you will have outside of the Jira product discovery um, will probably lose their values because these custom fields do not exist over here. Uh, so you have to be aware of that. The only thing that is actually customizable here is the workflow that you have. So if you want to play around with the workflow, you can, but you can't really, for example, add new issue types. So that's something to bear in mind. So you have those tickets over here and you have a bunch of um, columns over here that might be more or less important to some of you, but then the delivery progress is the one we want to focus on. So where is the delivery progress coming from and what can you do about it? So first of all, notice that on the empty ones, I can create a delivery ticket, okay? Create a delivery ticket. So if I hit this, I will, um, I will be taken here to this tab and I have two options. I can create a new ticket or I can add a delivery ticket, okay? Uh, so both options will work because what you act, what you actually want is for that for this ticket that I'm currently looking on. Um, you, so authenticate options for enterprise customers. The same title is over here. In the in the delivery tab, you want to have some tickets connected because based on those tickets connected, you will be able to measure the progress, and the progress will be measured 
by the tickets that are done, okay? So if the ticket is done, it will contribute to the green bar that we have, for example, over here. It says two out of three delivery tickets completed, yes? So that's what you want to have. So if you want to create a delivery ticket, you can hit this bar and then you can choose which project you want to create a delivery ticket in and then choose the issue type, uh, choose the title for it, hit create and the, pro the, the issue will be created. The same really goes for add a delivery ticket. So this is the part where you search for existing Jira issues. Again, you choose a project where you want to search for it. You search for an issue, you hit add and the ticket will be added. I'm not doing it from over here because I also want to show you that you can do it from a different, maybe more standard view, the one that you're more accustomed to. So I'll click the, click the issue uh, issue key over here, which will open kind of like an issue uh, issue view, standard Jira issue view. And then over here, I will show you that delivery tab is also available and the same two buttons will be available over here as well, okay? So that's, uh, that's important. Um, let me go back to the previous view because I have already something prepared. AMA story, okay? This one. I want, I want us to have a look at this one. Let's go inside. And you will see that there is already one delivery ticket connected to it, okay? Um, it's in status open, so it's, it's not done definitely. And what I want to do is I want to add a new delivery ticket to it, okay? So I'll try to search for Brave over here. I know that there is a ticket that contains this, but you can see that it doesn't bear any results. Now, it's, it sometimes happens in Jira that the searches don't work um, perfectly. So you can always try to search by an issue key, AMA-8. Let's try to do this one, AMA-8. And there you go. If you search for an issue key, you will get the result. You have to be aware, though, that this is case sensitive. Another thing that you can do is that if you go here and copy the link over here, you can also paste the link and it will interpret the link properly and then you can select the ticket as well. So let's add this one. It's in status result. Okay, so it will be treated as done. And now you can immediately see that the delivery progress is half, 50%, one out of two tickets is done, right? So this is how you can add uh, the delivery tickets to uh, be attached to your idea so that you can measure the progress. Another thing that I want to show you is that those tickets are connected with, uh, with the idea with a specific Jira issue link. So uh, what that means is that if you try to connect another ticket and you want to do it from outside of Jira, so let me use this Epic for example, it's also possible. So what you want to do is you can go here to um, the links section, and you want to add another link and, what? Well, no, sorry, these are child issues. I meant the link section. It's not here, so we will just hit link issues. There it is. And you want to choose um, implements. You want to choose implements and the one that we want to connect it is it with is JDD-11, AMA story and link. Okay, so now I've created a link over here from outside of Jira Discovery. Um, and if you go over here to the ticket that we were playing before, that's the JDD11, the one I connected the other ticket to, I'll refresh this screen and you will see very quickly that now instead of two tickets in the delivery, we actually have three tickets in the delivery because the one that I connected with implements Jira issue link uh, will be added over here as well. And then you can immediately see here that three out of five tickets are done but if you look at the list i can see only two tickets that are in a done or resolve or closed status so what's the deal with that i think there is actually a bug over here uh, so one of those tickets that have been done um, was connected before i added an epic and because this epic it contains all of those three issues now, uh, it seems like Jira Product Discovery is adding them again and counting one of those two tickets um, as a double, right? That's what it looks like. But this is also a good case to show you that what you also can do is, uh, I've unlinked this one because I was testing it, so I'll just refresh the screen to show you that it's not linked with the issue, and I will link it, link it again. So, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. So you can see that there are no links over here. Oh, so, sorry, jumping too quickly. So I just hit link issues and I will link this one 
similarly to the previous one, implements JDD11, right? Let's link it. And notice that this epic contains four issues, okay? It has four issues. So if I refresh this one, you will see that the new epic has been added and the issues that are children of that epic will be added to uh, the delivery kind of part of it as well. So it's this one, and you can see that there are tickets under this epic as well, and they will be contributed, contributing seven out of nine, right? So look at those, right? They are all close the result. They will be contributing to their progress as well. So that's pretty cool. And that's more or less how you measure the progress of your tickets uh, or your ideas in the Jira product discovery. Um, so I think it's pretty good because what it means is that you can have just one ticket that if you have it, sorry, let me, let me put some brakes on and um, go back a bit. So imagine that you are introducing the Jira product discovery to an already existing ecosystem, which in most cases will be uh, what's what's going to happen and now you have projects that are already running and you want to record them um like back, back backwards as your ideas but they are already in the delivery process so you want to go and measure their the, the re delivery progress so what you can do i guess the easiest way to do it is in your um jira product discovery project in jira you just create an idea for the project and then you link the, the epics or the top level elements from your existing project uh, to just measure the delivery. And that's probably the easiest way of doing this. I also want to mention that Jira product uh, discovery is a pretty interesting tool to have, but we have been doing these kind of processes, these kind of uh, presentations, these kind of idea funnels for a very long time using other tools uh, like Jira itself, even out of the box, Jira has some pretty good capabilities to make this a reality, but connected with some um, project management tool like Big Picture Structure or something else that is, uh, that, that's giving similar features is actually quite powerful and can take you from all the, all the way from the idea funnel um, to the prioritization of those ideas to scheduling the delivery, planning, delivering, and um, then post-delivery maintenance or whatnot. So it, it doesn't mean that you have to use Jira uh, product discovery. Most of those, th those things are actually nicely achievable also through standard Jira features. They will look different, maybe not that uh, you know, user-friendly, but still definitely very, very useful. So if you would like to discover how that can be achieved without paying for an additional product, reach out to us and uh, we can discuss uh, the ideas around the Jira product discovery alternatives so to say all right hopefully this has been useful if it was consider giving this video a like and dropping a comment so that other users have it easier finding these kind of materials and i'm thanking you very much for watching the videos and i'll be seeing you in one of the next ones cheers